Hi, this is Scott Brown with a Motor Age Tech Tip talking about the new Autel CSC 0611-07 target kit for the Tesla models S3, X, and Y to support the forward-facing camera pitch verification. Now, although this target board has been available for a little while, there's a new adapter kit that will allow you to adapt this target to the IA800 standard frame systems. Now the adapter kit contains just a few items that can easily be installed in about 15 minutes. The cleanly machined components mount to the small sliding cross frame CSC 0600-02 with the included hardware. Now following a windshield or camera replacement on Tesla vehicles, this pitch angle check is a mandatory step to ensure that the camera pitch is correct. Now, when it comes to performing steps like this on the Teslas, Autel has brought to the table a number of connectors that will allow you to connect to various CAN buses on these vehicles. Now, originally they released this uh, cable kit that was primarily intended for the Model S and X vehicles. However, this cable kit, including the TCAN001, will plug into later model like 2019 and later model threes and model y's and what's happening here is that there is a cable connection a can diagnostic connection that's over here on the uh, right side a pillar and what you do is you just follow the instructions and you pull up the sill plate open this up you'll find what tessa calls a connector 179 which gets you on the vehicle can bus okay and it is a blue connector. It's highly visible on the Model 3, but on the Model Y, the connector's white, and it is tucked away, and it will take you a little bit of digging, but you gotta pull the carpet out, and then you'll be able to get your, connect your cable in there. So that TCAN001 then plugs into your Maxi Flash VCMI, and then you need to power up the Maxi Flash uh, VCMI with the power adapter that plugs into the power port on the vehicle. If you try to connect by using your AC to DC uh, power adapter, it will not work because the interface needs a ground reference, okay? So um, I've, I've already tested that out and proved that out to myself. So once you get onto that, then you'll need to come into the scan tool. You'll need to manually put in the VIN number, put in all your information, and then you can run a uh, scan check on the vehicle. Okay, now you'll need to make sure that the all the rails are up and you do that by getting into the car, make sure your key card or your, your access is granted and then press on the brake to bring everything alive. And then we can go into the scan tool and then do a scan. And then as it's scanning, it's checking for any faults. And if you do find some faults, just beware, you need to access Tesla service information and do a little bit of research because these vehicles, from my experience, I've seen uh, a lot of failures that are known bugs. So you don't wanna be chasing your tail on these things. So once you do your scan, um, you can follow through with the, the, uh, the alignment pre-check if you wanna do that. I'm gonna answer no. You'll see that we've got some brake booster faults. Well, I see these brake booster uh, type faults uh, quite a bit. Now with the Model 3 and Y, there's also another connector that goes in the back back there, that's connector X930. Uh, that one will not get you uh, to the uh, ADAS uh, data. Uh, with this cable connected though, there is a lot of information available uh, to you, uh, more than what you can get through, through Tesla. Now, as you're likely aware, Tesla service information is now available at no charge. So if you hop into service information and search for the word pitch, you'll find the following service data. With the new Tesla target board in place on the red frame, position it in front of the vehicle as directed. Once we're set with our setup and we've got our target properly positioned, we'll go into service mode so we can initiate the live camera view and check our pitch as per service information. Okay, to get us into service mode, we're gonna press on the little car icon lower left and then touch software. And then on the software page, we're gonna long press on the model name That'll bring up a password entry. The password is service. We're gonna click okay. We're gonna acknowledge this service warning. 
And then from here, we're going to click on the driver assist tab and then click on cameras. Okay. And this page gives us information about the status of health of the various cameras on the vehicle. And what we're primarily concerned with is looking at this fisheye pitch and the main pitch. This is a hardware four vehicle, so it only has two forward facing cameras. Hardware three vehicle, you're going to have three cameras up front here. Next step, we're going to click on this button at the very bottom where it says camera preview. And it's going to pull a live stream of the camera feed for us to have a look at. Okay. And you'll see that these guidelines are in place here. And you'll see a button up at the top right that's lit up. It says pitch verification. If for some reason that is off, you're not going to see those guidelines. So click that back on. And we're looking at the main camera. And if you look at service information, it tells you that this blue line should correspond to your index point. It should be at the, at, in line with your index point. So on this vehicle, it's a Model Y. It should be exactly on top of the gray bar there. Okay, that's 146 centimeters from the ground in front of the vehicle. However, service information says that if the line, if your reference line on your target falls between the two green lines, then you're okay. So you're, you're set. You can also then select the other camera and take a look at it and make sure that it's giving you the proper um, data metrics. And if you, of course, if you're a vehicle with uh, hardware three, with three cameras, then you're going to have, uh, you're going to, you're going to want to check the other camera view. Okay. So we exit out of that. And then once you make your adjustment, you make your pitch adjustment, you're going to want to go in here and hit clear camera calibration. It will tell you that the gateway needs to be unlocked. So to unlock the gateway, you press on, press and hold the brake, press and hold the right turn signal until this timer counts down. And you're going to get, uh, you're going to get to move to the next step. And then you would hit clear camera calibration. So on this vehicle, we're not going to adjust anything, so I'm not going to, I'm not going to do that. But uh, once you do that, and then there's one um, last step where you're going to reset the driver assistance system, and then you're going to need to take the vehicle out for a long road test. Now, once you're set, you'll then want to clear the calibration and prepare to perform the dynamic calibration. Now, although Tesla typically lets the vehicle operator complete this step, I prefer to complete this step myself so that I can then enable the system and gauge its operation and performance. As you can see, Autel is continuing to bring new products to market, helping you stay ahead of the curve to ensure accurate ADAS calibrations. And with this new target, you can streamline your pitch verifications on Tesla vehicles. I hope you found this information helpful, and if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below, and thanks for watching.